We're here at Sebring. I'm Dan Johnson, and I'm speaking with Pete Karate today, the man behind the Jabiru aircraft and engines. But we want to talk about engines today because you've got a seminar coming up where you're going to tell people everything they need to know about Jabiru. Yeah, that we do. The seminar is called a engine maintenance and overhaul class. And what we do is we cover how to maintain a Jabiru engine on a daily basis. Uh, 25 hours, 50 hours, 100 hours, 200, and so on. And then uh, part of the class is also uh, we have a class engine that we take through a top overhaul. So now, how I, long? That, that sounds like a lot of stuff. How long does this go on? It's a two-day class. Okay. Yeah, the first day we cover uh, identification of parts and explanation of what the parts do, how they work together, and how to maintain those parts. Uh, what needs to be oiled, uh, etc., or maintained. Um, then the second day starts out with a uh, an introduction to the mysteries of the Bing carburetor, the Bing altitude compensated carburetor, which uh, is a mystery to a lot of people, people. But it's Many. really a pretty simple concept. It's just a lot of different things have to work together to make it right. Uh, and then the rest of the day, uh, the second day of the course, I have a class engine which I bring with me. Okay, and the engine will be a part. Uh, we don't split the case for this course, but the second day we'll have the class. Uh, they can participate as much as they want, or they can stand back and watch. We'll put uh, connecting rods onto the crankshaft, pistons on the con rod, rings on the pistons. Then we'll slide the cylinder barrels over the pistons and uh, bolt the rest of the case together with the through bolts. Then we'll take a the heads and we'll put valves in the heads, uh, put the rocker arms in there, put the heads onto the barrels, line up the push rods, uh, then we'll go and uh, time the engine. Uh, once the basic crankshaft and camshaft is timed, we'll put the distributor shafts in there in the right place so they're timed correctly, 25 degrees before top dead center. Show all our our students the correct trick on how to do that without a degree wheel. Ah, okay. uh, but uh, uh, then there's uh, always tricks of the tree, yeah. and this is some of what you're going to do. Then we put the flywheel on, and in the flywheel, of course, is the permanent magnet alternator. We talk about the stator and the how the electricity is produced, and then the other end of the engine has the oil pumps, so and we put that on. And by the end of the day, at roughly four o'clock on uh, the afternoon of the second day, we have a, a fairly complete class engine. Now you keep saying class engine. What does that word mean? Well, it's an engine that has enough uh, had enough problems in the past with uh, uh, the previous owner ran it out of oil. He had an oil line break, and uh, rather than fix that one up, uh, he just traded it in for a new one. So we used it for our class. Oh, I see. So, okay. uh, so classroom engine. Yeah, classroom engine. I see. Yeah. Okay. So this, this two-day class that you're going to have sounds like you're covering a lot of stuff. I mean, you're almost doing a, an overhaul of the engine, a top overhaul at the very least. Is this for, now you've got, Jabiru makes kits, you make fully built, and you make ELSA. You do the whole bit as well as the engine right. and the airplane. So I'm thinking now, well, is this course aimed at a, a user or is it aimed at a mechanic or both? It's basically both. Some of the classes that we run have a high percentage uh, of AMP or other aircraft mechanics in the class. Some of the classes are almost all home builders. Uh, the so same, we're allowed to do a lot of maintenance. Yeah, so, yeah so the, the same training, training really too. applies to both. The Jabiru engine is a simple enough engine that we don't require any uh, specific factory training to do the light duty maintenance, changing spark plugs, changing oil. Uh, light duty stuff. We don't require any specific training for that, even for our SLSA airplanes. Ah, okay. And it is up to the manufacturer, I know, in this right. ASTM world we're inhabiting now. So if you say, hey, it's simple, you can do this stuff, you're good, they're good to go. Basically, for the SLSA airplanes, we allow any mechanic who has some engine background, an AMP or a light sport repairman slash maintenance, to do anything on that engine up to splitting the case. We don't allow the, the, 
mechanic that's been crank case, okay. crank case will do anything with a camshaft uh, or a crankshaft uh, without further training. This class meets the requirement for further training. Oh, it does. Okay. So, so in two if, days they could go to that extent. Then. Yes. So an AMP mechanic, capable. yeah, an AMP mechanic or a light sport repairman slash maintenance, if they go to this class at the end of the class, they'll get a letter of, or a certificate of authority giving them authority to repair jabber engines, including splitting the case, replacing bearings, crankshafts, camshafts, wow, and so that's, forth. That's pretty the much the it's a simple, then, yeah. it's a simple engine, and I, I don't need. Uh, we're kind of assuming that the AMP or the Lightspeed Repair Maintenance would have a little background to start with, but it's a simple engine. It yeah, they've had to go through some yeah. level of training already. Yeah. You're just adding engine-specific knowledge to them. Right. Now, you've got one of these coming up. Uh, we're down here in Seabury, Florida. you got one of these coming up in Florida pretty soon. That's right. The last couple of years, we've been taking this class on the road rather than doing it just at Shelbyville, Tennessee. That's your home base. That is, that's our home base. Okay. So we will be having one in February, February 7th and 8th, at uh, Voyager Aviation in Merritt Island, Florida. And then there's another one that's going to be announced very soon in May that's going to be in Eugene, Oregon. Oh, okay. Then we're planning for another one in uh, late October, around the time of the Copper State fly-in, out in Arizona. Uh, we've had a lot of requests from the customers in the Southwest to uh, hold a school down there. Yeah, yeah, I know you've had some active dealerships for the airplane and so forth. So you got a bunch of airplanes in the southwest yeah. U.S. too. Last fall we did one in Denton, Texas, and uh, the class size is limited to 20. Okay. Uh, so it's... So you got a little space left in the one coming up here real yeah, soon? Yeah, I think there's 14 or 15 already registered for the class. Uh, so we do have a little room yet. Typically, we wind up with uh, two or three or a half a dozen people on the waiting list for these classes. Well, that's a lot of good information about it. If people want to act on that opportunity or one of the future ones, or if they just want general knowledge about the engine or the airplanes, where do you want to send them on the web? Well, to usjabaroo.com. That's okay. our, our website. On the home page, up toward the top right, it uh, says uh, Florida Engine Seminar. Click here okay. for more info. and. The class syllabus will be there, the list of things we're going to cover, as well as a registration form is there. And the cost of the two-day uh, class is $325, so a modest expense as well then. Okay, folks, well, you heard it. If you've got a Jabiru engine, if you just want to learn more, if you're an engine person that likes to know this stuff, or you want to work on these airplanes and be able to enhance your earnings, uh, there's your opportunity coming up real soon. Another one in Oregon, another one in Southwest U.S., and more to follow. Thanks a lot for talking to us today, Pete. I've got lots of information on the Jabiru, uh, both the engine and the airplanes. You can find all that on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks so much for joining us here at Seabrook.